Hello, my dear friend. You are welcome again to this episode of my videos. In this video, I will practically show how to set up a solar PV system to power DC loads. DC loads are direct current loads or loads that use direct current to work. In my previous video on this same topic, I mentioned the solar panel, the rechargeable battery, the charge controller, and then the converter. All right, so here, this is an example of the rechargeable battery. There are different types of the rechargeable batteries that can be used in the solar system, but I'll talk about batteries in another video. And so this is what stores the energy that is used when there is no sun to cause the solar panel to generate any electricity. All right, then we have the charge controller. The charge controller and then the converter are combined in this unit. Everything is controlled by this unit. So the charging and the discharging of the battery is controlled by this unit. The output voltage to the lamp is also controlled by this same unit. And then there is a switch. There is a switch that is also connected through this unit. So everything control is embedded in this one unit. And the same unit is responsible for charging the battery. OK. And here, here is the DC load that we need to supply power to from our solar PV system. All right, so in this controller, there is a connection from the solar panel, and then there is another connection to the battery for the charging, and then there is another connection to the load, in this case, the lamp. So from the solar panel to the controller, from the controller to the rechargeable battery, and then from the same controller to the load. Then here, we also have a switch to switch on and off the load. And all these things are controlled from here. All right, so here, the solar panel, the rechargeable battery, the controller, and then the load. And all these things are DC components. All right, so in bigger systems, instead of sockets like this, there are terminals provided on the controller. And then indications are made at the terminals to tell you where to connect the negative and the positive cables that are coming from the solar panel. And then where to connect the negative and the positive cables that are coming from the battery and then where to connect the outgoing cables to the load. All right, so basically, in a bigger system, you have terminals to connect the solar cables, the battery cables, and then the load cables. And please, I have to say that most of the times, these systems come with their own manual. So make sure you follow the instructions in the user manual for correct connections. If you look on the controller, the first thing to connect is our solar panel. This is the cable coming from the solar panel. So we connect it to the controller. So first solar panel to the controller. We secure it nicely. Then the next thing we connect is the battery, we connect the battery to the controller. Then we secure that one too. And then the last thing we connect is the load. All right, so our system is set up. And so here, this is the switch that controls the lamp. This is the controller that controls the charging of the battery and also regulates the output voltage to the load. And then this serves as a control system for the whole setup. We have the panel, 
which generates electricity that charges the battery by the help of the charge controller when the sun is up. The battery stores energy and that energy is discharged to supply power to the load when there is no sun to power the panel. And so with this setup, typically, lamps are used at night. So what happens in this system is that during the day, the panel charges the batteries, and then in the night, when the solar panel cannot produce any power, the stored energy here is discharged to power the load. So here, when we operate this switch, the load will come on. So off, load switched on, off, switched on, and then switched off. All right, so before I end this video, I will have to add that this battery has an amount of voltage it can produce, and then a capacity that is rated in amp hour. In another video, when I'm talking about batteries, I'll let you know what the amp hour means and then how to select the correct size of battery for a particular load. So here, our panel generates DC voltage. The battery also produces DC voltage. We have a DC load and then we have a controlling system. So a perfect setup of solar PV system for DC loads. In case we had to power AC loads, then we'll be using an inverter in addition to these items that we are using here. And the inverter is what will change the DC voltage that is produced from these two components into an AC voltage that can power the AC appliance. All right, so normally the appliances we use in our homes are AC appliances. That means they work on alternating current which means that they can't work on DC voltage. And so if we want to set up a solar system to supply our usual home appliances, then we must bring in a device to convert the DC voltage that comes from the solar panel and the battery into AC voltage. And that device is what we call the inverter. All right, so in the next video, I'll show how to set up a solar PV system to produce AC voltage that can be used to power AC appliances. I'll end this particular episode here and continue in another video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have learned something from this video, don't forget to hit on the like, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay connected in case you haven't yet subscribed. See you in my next video.